what's up guys so we're over here at mayberry chrome shop at their truck show and look what we ran into this is david and david has built this thing from ground up it's got diesel motor in it he can tell you more about it so david tell them what you built here a little kimworth cab over to resemble bj and the bear for the older folks that remember that stuff got a 42 horse turbo diesel engine in it air conditioning all the lights everything works straight lights everything made a little bolt out bumper for like the big guys so i can hit a button and pump them out um not a lot of room in it but two adults can fit in it and uh drive around a little monkey in there cb am fm radio everything works Out of stainless tanks, and I married it up to a John Deere Gator rear end and a little cobbling together there. Chrome air conditioner compressor. Then I needed a trailer, so I built me an RGN electric over hydraulic detach system. Drops it down, unload your load, and look back up. Uh, had the local lumber company cut me some oak boards and the polyurethane down. Me and my son in law, and pretty much everything you see. For what you can buy off of eBay and try to be careful not to wife find out all this. <laughs> she knew FedEx and UPS was coming by pretty regularly. And then I had to buy her extra Christmas. Well, this this thing's pretty good size. This thing be hard to hide in the garage. Yeah, I normally just keep the door down. Yeah. She don't go out there and it works <laughs> out. Then it comes out and she's like, Where'd that come from? Yeah. It's one of those, all them little cardboard boxes that come. That was, that's what the puzzle. So you you done all your own work? You done all your own paint and everything no, on it? Didn't, well, I tried to do the paint, to be honest. I painted it. It didn't come out shiny. I was scared to death I was going to have a run. And that's why I sprayed it dry, as my paint man told me. He had done told me, I'll come paint it for you, no problem. Well, I was going to do it myself. When it did come out to suit me, I called him up and he come corrected it for me. And the other thing I didn't do was the fiberglass work. A buddy of mine, uh, Rob Satterthite, on the fiberglass and then the body. And then Tony Stanley done the paint job on the truck in the trailer. I didn't even mess with the trailer. I just went in and called him. I said, I'm going to mess it up. I'll do it. I'll tell you one thing. It's one of the coolest things here at the truck show this weekend. Well, I appreciate that. And then there's a whole lot of things I was drooling over when I come up here, too. Well, there's so much nice stuff here. I you know, swear. Uh, Mitchell and them's put, put together an awesome I truck show. I told him when he come in this morning, I said, I don't know if anybody else tell you. I said, you're doing an awesome thing here. Yeah. Awesome calls. You can't go wrong. No. No, and listen, man. I mean, this is awesome. I love seeing guys that... Uh, that take and, and does stuff in the backyard shop and, and uh, it comes out like this. It's, uh, you're a good fabricator and uh, you got an awesome imagination, so it's, it's pretty cool. We started way back shooting with kids for doing lawnmower pulling, tractor pulling a sled, 6,000 pound sled. And that's been around, that's the original mower that we started out with. So, me and McSoon and Colton and my daughter Danielle, them two know how probably. 10 to 13 years old, it's something broken that rear end, and I got the big truck to hit the road. I'd call order parts, have them shipped in, and them two would go there and fix that, fix and have everything washed and loaded and ready. I'd come back in, in the truck the next week, take off again to the lawnmower pool. So it's mainly keeping the kids involved and doing something other than what they ought not to be doing, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, it keeps them out of the, out of the room playing PlayStation and gets them well, out of the shop. So. and then it can lead to drinking and drugs and whatever else and they can say you can't do whatever you want to do but well not only that nowadays you just got to be too careful you teach them the trade and they can get out here when they get bigger and, and get a job and, and take their imagination and put it to life you know a lot of guys a lot of kids sit and dream about stuff like this but don't know how to how to make Apply. it reality yeah. yeah so you want fired up let's hear it run oh sure you want to hit the key you want to start for you thing you want to do make sure it's out of gear I've done a cheat sheet for you the green light's on you can start it the green light was off to be in gear just turn it to the right